Okay, children, the time now is 5 p.m. The time now is 5 p.m. Let's uh, begin lesson. All right. So if you have anything you want to chat with me, can you please go to the chat and just type down there? All right. Uh, I will try to answer you as best as I can. As I, has, as I have been telling the rest of the students, today we'll be finishing the primary three math paper two. All right. Primary three math paper two. Last week we didn't finish. So today we'll be starting with question 11 and to finish math uh, primary three math paper two. Then with the remaining time, we will be going into primary four mathematics paper one. All right, so don't worry. We'll be covering as much as possible. Ken? Okay, so uh, just, just uh, how to say, before I go forward, right? Before I go forward, some of you are asking, hey, Cher, uh, where are all these live lessons located? Maybe you haven't been playing with our website for a long time. All right, I just want to show you our live lesson where you can find. All right, I mean the recorded live lesson. So sorry. You can actually go to your dashboard. Click on the dashboard, all right? So you can actually uh, look for your, for me, I have all the mathematics. So for you, you are P3, right? For example, if you are P3 mathematics, click on the lesson plan. Huh? Click on the lesson plan. Then you scroll down all the way to the bottom part. Can you see? Uh, eh? We have the P3, P4 math mock exam. Can you see this? Yeah. So this is the actually the recording from uh, the previous lesson. So you can actually go and take a look at it. So this uh, lesson, right, we, we finish up to primary three paper one and primary three paper two up to question 10. That's why today we are starting with the question 11. Okay. So if you want to see the, uh, the worksheet, you can actually click on the class prerequisite. So today's lesson, right, today's lesson will appear below here. All right. Will appear below here. Live lesson, P3, P4, math, mock exam also. All right. But you give us some days to upload into our system. Can. So this is the place to find out uh, where is the uh, live recorded videos. Okay. Okay, that's say uh, I can go on to today's lesson already. We have quite a lot to finish. So let's uh, continue. You know that sometimes uh, a lot of parents complain that I talk too much. I know, man. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Oh, some of the students, uh, yeah, today I'm not covering the paper one. Uh. Paper one for primary three has been covered. All right, so if you want, you can actually look at the recordings. I show you where the recording can be found already. Cool. All right, so these are the things that you need for today. All right, I think you've seen this slide so many times already. Let's just jump into question 11. All right, this is from primary three, paper two, question 11. I will finish the primary three and go into the primary four later. Don't worry, sure can finish one. Hello, hello, everybody. Hi. Okay, so what do we have here? We have Jackie and Paul. Jackie has this amount, Paul has more. So sometimes, right, I don't even read the numbers. I read as Paul has more than Jackie. All right, Paul has more than Jackie. So what is happening down here? I will draw a model, Paul versus Jackie. And Paul has more, I will draw Paul being longer. All right, a model that shows that Paul is more means that we have to draw a longer model. Is that okay? All right, once again, once again, if you cannot find the question, children, all right, I'm doing primary three math paper two. It's from the previous month's worksheet. All right, so if you cannot find, don't worry, don't worry, don't panic. What you're holding is a primary four one probably. All right, don't worry. All right, if you want later, I show you where to find it again. All right, just now I show you one time already under the class prerequisite. Okay, all right, so at this moment, what happened? You know that Paul is small, so you draw more for Paul. And we know that Jackie got 114. So where is Jackie? Jackie, this portion, right, is what Jackie has. And this portion is 114. All right. Okay, don't worry about the worksheet part. Just listen first. All right, take out an exercise book. Take out a full sketch paper and write it down. Don't worry. All right, it's a small problem. Ken, just listen. Take your exercise book, some full sketch paper, and write down what I write. Ken, so question 11, you can draw this. Don't care about the question. Don't worry. All right, small thing. So what we have here is Paul has 28 more than Jackie. Paul has 28 more than Jackie, which means down, down here. Down here is the more, right? I can put the 28 inside here. Can you see? So Jackie, right, this portion, can you see not? It's the same size as this portion. So which means what? Do, 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 do. All right, this portion also represents 114. This portion also represents 114. Fair what? Correct? It's the same size. Then what happened? Oh, Paul has twice as many pens as Caleb. Oh no, can we simply find Paul first? Ah, because we have got Jackie, right? Can we find Paul? All right, let's go and find Paul for fun. 
All right, and the first question is asking for Paul, you see? All right, so Paul got how many? Paul got 114 plus the extra 28 that is coming out, right? Ah, so Paul will have how many pens? So at this moment, can you please do your working? All right, you need to show your working, uh, 114 plus 28. Okay, show your working, do it carefully, please. 8 plus 4 is a 12. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is a 4. 142. Okay, so 142 is for who? 142 is for Paul. So actually, right, actually we answered the first part of the question already. This is part A. Can you see? Then next portion, what happened? They are looking for Caleb. Look at the English here. Oh, my favorite down here. This is my favorite part. They say that Paul has twice as many as Caleb. All right. So who got more? Ask yourself, who got more? Ah, Paul has twice as many as Caleb. So between Paul and Caleb, Paul has twice, right? Twice means what? Longer, right? Oh, okay. Twice means two of these, huh? And Caleb only got one of these. Can you see or not? Okay, so this is the meaning of twice. Paul has twice of Caleb. Okay, so we know that Paul got what? Paul got one, four, two. Hey, which means Caleb is only one, what? only one of this. So Caleb is how? We take one, four, two, divide by two. Can you see that or not? Huh? So draw model is okay, children. All right, draw your model is perfectly okay. All right, nobody laugh at you. At this age, I'm still drawing model. All right, and I love model drawing, seriously. So 142 divided by two will give you a what? Two times uh, seven will give you a 14. All right. Here is a 0. 14 minus 14 is 0. Bring down the 2. 2 times 1 is a 2. And therefore, you have a 0 here. Very good. No remainder. Thank you, teacher. And down here is 71. Caleb got 71 pens. Woo! All right, that's how you do it. Is that okay? Yeah, some of you got it. Caleb has 71. All right, so this is a question from primary 3 mock paper. All right, paper 2. All right, just now some of you, I, I can see some of you are fumbling because you cannot find the question, right? Don't worry. All right, as I say, if you want to find the question for this, right, it's actually here. All right, another, another place you can find is here. You see down here? Under the class prerequisite. All right, you can print from there later at the end of the class then you print. Now you just copy down my steps, can? All right, you can print from here. Or, or another place you can go to, you can click on this idiot tuition. Click on this logo, idiot tuition. Click on the live classes. Click on this one, past lesson, past lessons. All right, then you can see all the handsome and pretty faces. Go all the way down to what? Here, you see here? Primary 3, Primary 4, math mock exam on the 20th of August. All right, here you can click on this class prerequisite. All right, you can open the file and you can print it. So the question is here. All right, the question is here. Don't worry. All right, the, the last month, if you come for a lesson, you should have this worksheet already. All right, the question is here. Can you see this? Uh, see? Next question 11, Caleb and Paul, right? Ne? All right, if you came last month, you should have this worksheet. So don't panic, all right? Don't panic, Can? Okay, so moving on to question number 12. Let's go. Okay, just draw the model. All right, if uh, you think that I'm going too fast, right? Take your phone and take a picture of the, the, the answer. Then later you can go and write it down. All right, I'm trying to go very slowly by using different colors really. Nice, right? I know. Okay, question 12, what is happening? All right, we have uh, two person. Uh, Noah at one twelfth of a chocolate cake. What's the meaning of one twelfth? So sometimes, right, when I read this one twelfth, I read it as one out of 12 parts. And this 12 must be 12 equal parts. Huh? All right, I will read it as like that. And Jane at what? Three twelve. What is three? Three out of the same 12 equal parts. Oh, my goodness. Can I draw a model? Can. Because got 12 equal parts, right? Oh, very exciting. Very excited, sorry. You know, drawing models. I'm very, exci very excited to draw models. Right? So I purposely, right, sometimes I even use my ruler and measure, you know, 1 cm for 1 unit. All right? Because uh, yeah, I, I got a bit of uh, uh, <laughs> OCD. I like things to be neat and tidy, lah, all right? So don't, don't blame me. All right? So down here, I draw 12 equal units. Okay, it's like a model drawing. It's very useful, trust me. All right, got 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Got, got, got 12. Then what happened? No, uh, no, eight. one out of it. Oh, so this one is for N. Uh. This one is for N. 
and uh, n only at one. Jane, ah, uh, yo, Jane at three, ah, uh, my goodness. So three, ah, uh, three, I'm going to shade in white. Jane, Jane, Jane. All right, so these three units belongs to Jane. Is that okay? Okay, so now, what is the first part of the question? All right, what is the first part of the question? They say, what fraction of the cake did they eat all together? So this part is what they eat, right? From here to here is what they eat. Correct or not? All together, what? So how many units are being eaten? One, two, three, four. All right, so for part A, the answer is what? Four out of what? Out of what? Out of the 12 equal units. Is this the answer? Hey, children, you have to reduce to the simplest form. Hey, question never say what? Sure. No, no, no. You have to do it. Even though question never say, you do it. It's a standard thing that is an understandable thing that you have to do. All right, you cannot argue on this one. So how, how do you make it to the lowest term? So you divide by four on top, you divide by four below. Remember equivalent fraction? Yeah. So you get one over, 12 divided by four is a three. Ding, 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 ding. Answer is one third for part A. Can? And for part B, what fraction of the cake was left? Oh my goodness, sure, so easy. So you look at the, the, the dark green portion here. This part is what? From here to here is the left, right? All right, not eaten means left. Lah. All right, it's going to be passed to me later. Oh, I love cakes. That's why you see my weight always increase. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total, right? Total got eight out of what? 12 equal parts that is left. All right, eh, must reduce to a simple term. Yes, yes. Don't have to say one. Diva by four, diva by four. All right, that will give you two over three. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right. Oh, hey, the question got say. I didn't read. Oh, this question at least got remind you. Very good. Thank you, teacher, for reminding me. But even though the question never say, remember you have to do it by yourself. Can? Okay. All right. Some of you are typing the answers into the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Good job. You got it. Um, Elton. Elton, do you manage to find a PDF file? Huh? All right, if you cannot find, don't worry. All right, don't worry. Just write down the solution first. All right, later, if you've got time, I will try to show you where to find again. All right, just write down the solution first. Can? Okay. So moving on to question 13. All right. So all these questions can do. Uh, can do one, P3. You can do it one. For your final year exam, you have to try to score. Score what? At least a what? 80% <laughs> and above. 80% and above. You can do it. Can? If you can get even higher, that will be even better. All right, keep trying to push yourself forward. All right, remember that the only challenger is yourself. Or always challenge yourself. Don't challenge your friend. All right, so for this time round, I get 80%. Next time I challenge myself, I want to get 85%. Okay, all right, that's how you improve. Cool? All right, so now here we have two person. Macy and Joan were in a shop, okay? Macy bought a watch for this amount. She gave the cashier $100. How much change? All right, how much change did Macy get back? Oh, very easy, what? All right, very easy. All right, if I give the cashier $100 and the watch only costs $78.30, obviously the cashier must give me back some money. Lah. How much? So down here, I'll put 100 Hey, but sure, got decimal point. What about the 78.30, the point how? Don't panic, children. Remember when you add and you subtract decimals, the dot, right, must be in the same place. The decimal dot must be in the same place. All right. So 78.30. Like that. Hey, but there's nothing on top. Okay, don't panic again, children. Just put the zero behind like that. All right. It's free. The zero behind the decimal is free. So just put it behind. Wow, so neat. I know. All right. So you're supposed to show your working neatly. All right. Because when you write your working neatly, right, the chances of copy error will be minimized. All right. So you have to try to really put it very neatly. Zero minus zero is a zero. Hey, sure, zero cannot minus three. Don't worry, borrow from one. The one becomes zero. The rest becomes nine, nine, and the last one is a 10. This is the faster way of doing. Can? 10 minus three is a seven. Remember the dot, the decimal dot must be in line. Huh? Must be in line, right? It must be there. Nine minus eight is a one. Nine minus seven is a and therefore, your answer will be $21.70, like that. So how much change did Macy receive? Macy received $21.70.